Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today's video is actually going to be the start of a series and this series is going to be called What to Watch. So What to Watch is basically going to be a new series on my channel where I take a look at certain events that are going to be occurring in CSGO in the future at some point and I'm going to be telling you guys kind of what to look at, what to prepare for, when that event happens. Before that, quick word from our sponsor, ShadowPay. ShadowPay is a third-party marketplace to use for all of your CSGO skin needs. ShadowPay's inventory of CSGO skins is massive, so if you're looking for a skin, they'll probably have it. Along with their massive inventory, ShadowPay also offers features like a player-to-player -player extension that allows your trades to be more secure, or if you don't want to bother waiting for a player-to-player -player transaction, you can use their instant sell feature to instantly get money for your skins. ShadowPay also has a large variety of payment methods offered for depositing, plus they have a lot of positive trusted reviews, and you can actually get a deposit bonus when you use my code NALO on the website, so be sure to check ShadowPay out for all of your skin needs. The link to ShadowPay with a deposit bonus is going to be in the description. Thanks. So let's talk about a case of a big upcoming CSGO event. In this case, we're going to be talking about the PGL Antwerp Major that's coming up because that is going to be a pretty huge event for the CSGO market, and I think there's going to be a lot of potential for you to make some profit. I think it's finally time to make a video like this because we already have all of the teams announced that were qualified for the tournaments, and we have a lot of information on the players that are competing in those teams. And we know from CSGO's Twitter account that we are getting stickers for this tournament that are coming out soon, so this video is going to aim to prepare you on what you should be looking for and give you a general idea of how much potential there is for this major, so you can kind of prepare your portfolio for the release. So for starters, I want to take a look at the teams that qualified for the major and kind of look at their respective logos and talk about which one of those would probably translate well to a sticker. So here's the list of the PGL Antwerp 2022 qualified teams. As you can see, the Legends, Challengers, and Contender stages are all filled out. Bit of a weird one, Cloud9 is actually back in this major in the Legends stage, which is a little bit weird obviously because Cloud9 has not been in a major for quite some time now. That'll be an interesting sticker to watch because we haven't had a Cloud9 sticker in a while. However, overall we do have a lot of Cloud9 stickers from previous majors, so I don't know if its performance is going to be all that great as a unique option. We've got a couple new unique stickers like Imperial Esports and Bad News Eagles. Imperial Esports will probably be a pretty good pick for investing because it does look like Entropic Gaming sticker, which was a pretty good performer in the previous major. And it's a green based sticker, which historically has performed quite well with stuff like Spirit. Bad News Eagles will probably just be kind of whatever. It is a red and white sticker, so unless the team performs really, really well during the major, I don't think it's going to get a whole ton of attention off of its design, simply because there are quite a lot of red and white stickers already. One potential sticker I really do want to highlight, though, is the Eternal Fire sticker. This is just an absolutely amazing design. I think this would look incredible on a lot of skins, and there's a lot of places they could go with a sticker design for this logo. A really cool hollow effect that kind of gradients across the entire dragon design on the sticker would work really, really well here, and I think it's something they're going to go for considering they actually did post this sticker on their own Twitter account. The final sticker that I want to highlight here is 9Z Team. First of all, this sticker is a purple base sticker, which is basically unheard of when it comes to tournament stickers. But the other thing I really like about it is how simple and minimalistic the design is and how sleek and clean it appears. I think this sticker has a ton of potential to perform super, super well as an investment and just as a sticker that's going to be applied to a lot of skins, considering there are a lot of purple skins in CSGO, but not quite a lot of purple tournament stickers. So I think this is definitely one that you're going to want to watch. Beyond those specifically highlighted ones, obviously we have your classic stand-in staple stickers like Na'Vi. As we've seen with previous tournament stickers, Na'Vi is always a sure bet for a decent amount of profit as a sticker. So as per usual, I would set aside a little bit of your portfolio to invest in stuff like Na'Vi. And like last major, Na'Vi is obviously looking to prove that it wasn't just a fluke and that they can go ahead and win two majors in a row, so obviously there's a chance for that to happen as well, which is always good for sticker prices. Now let's get into some statistics and talk about some teams and players to watch in terms of how well they might perform. Shout out to Zonix and Foxtail, they put a lot of work into getting all of this data set up, and if you want to take a closer look at their data, be sure to go ahead and join my Discord server below and you can talk to Zonix and Foxtel there and look at this data sheet a little bit more closely. One thing that really stood out to me off the bat was Renegades. Renegades is a team that, as you can see, has pretty insane stat spreads across all of their players, a lot better than pretty much any other team that's competing in this tournament. As Zonix pointed out, this could be due to the fact that they didn't really have a whole ton of competition with EU teams and that a lot of their competition was with weaker regions, but regardless of that, the stat spread is pretty crazy. Obviously, these players are playing very well, despite the fact that they could be playing in weaker regions. But going off of raw stats alone, obviously this team looks quite strong. 
As for a specific power player on the team, one thing that Zonix wanted to point out was Zontaras, and obviously that is pretty true. If we take a look at Zontaras' stats, you can see that his impact rating is super, super high comparatively, and he's obviously doing a lot for his team Eternal Fire. There's a good chance that he could be a huge player in this tournament and could pull off some really sick plays that could cause his sticker price as a signature to really go up. Obviously, if CSGO does signatures like they did last year, then you won't actually be able to invest in players as the tournament goes on, you'll have to wait until after the tournament. I'm hoping they revert signatures to how they used to do them, but who knows. We should get a further update on the stickers pretty soon here, pretty much any day now, so if you want to go ahead and join the Discord server, there will be talk about that when that happens. So that's a team and a big player that I would definitely be looking out for, a little bit more of a unique one that isn't really too terribly hyped up compared to players like Simple and teams like Navi, which are obviously pretty staple bets as well in this major. I also wanted to go ahead and give Zonix and Foxtail a chance to give you guys some of their opinions and some words of caution potentially for this major and so if you guys want to go ahead and pause the video you can go ahead and read what they had to say about that but yeah thank you to Zonix and Foxtail for the data and for the help again if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one with them they're always happy to help in my discord server down below now there will be a larger section of this video dedicated to souvenir packages but there's not much change from the previous major as the active duty map pool is basically the exact same and there's nothing too major that has actually happened to it the only real thing to report on here is that ancient will now see its second time Time in the souvenir packages, so that means that there is going to be more dilution in the amount of quantity of ancient souvenirs. I'm assuming as per usual we'll have three souvenir coins attached to a major viewing pass, and then there will be a viewing pass without the three coins. I don't really think there's going to be any change there. So you can basically expect the same amount of quantity of souvenir skins and souvenir packages in rotation this major. As you can see, there's about 1,500 ancient souvenirs currently listed on the CSGO market. And as a sort of relevant gauge of quantity, here is the quantity listed for Pantera Ancas. This will most likely increase. It could potentially up to double when the new souvenir package comes out. As you can see, the ancient souvenir package is not exactly the most hyped investment of all time, but there is some profit to be made in it. As per usual, the viewer pass is a pretty stable and solid investment, and you can probably assume the same will happen this major as well. And with that, that's basically going to cover everything that you need to look out for for this upcoming major. Obviously, we have a few new teams here to look out for, and some potentially really good new stickers, like Eternal Fire sticker, and we also have some new players that could make their names and make you a pretty good signature sticker profit, provided that they are available. Souvenir packages are nothing special this time around, basically the same thing we've already experienced, and then of course we have viewership passes, which are going to be one of your most stable choices choices for an investment. Once again, shout out to Zonix and Foxtail for helping with the video. Hopefully their opinions are appreciated. Let me know what you guys are excited for this major. Let me know what stickers you guys are excited for and, and what your pickums are going to potentially look like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel for the best CSGO investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. Be sure to check out my Twitter and Discord server with the links in the description below. And be sure to check out ShadowPay using my link for a deposit bonus. Thanks guys. See you next time. Peace.